Hi friends, welcome to my channel and this is 19th video in Veeam Advanced Training and today in this video I am going to show you how to create and perform plant failover in Veeam Backup and Replication. So uh, you, uh, from name this plant failover you can understand uh, we can we can plan our failover or at given scheduled time and then the automatically plan is uh, failover is going to be happened uh, on the schedule which we are going to give in plan failover. Uh, to start so so uh, let's see what is f uh, we have in this demo environment and lab lab setup so this is my lab setup for this environment so you can see from here we are using five servers the first machine is win 2 12 dc01 which is my active directory server if I go here you can see this is my active directory server win 2 12 dc01 domain name is victorinfosol.com and having active directory and dns role and go to tools you can see the active directory users and computers then we have india you under india we have server you which having all the servers then we have servers vms which having virtual machines so the second machine is win 2k12 veeam which is our veeam server veeam backup and replication server so let's go here and I'm going to open Veeam backup and replication console and then connect so this is my Veeam backup and replication server when to get 12 Veeam and uh, this is in same domain so and next we have a standalone Hyper-V host which is running VM01 and 02 so this is Hyper-V standalone server the name of the server is win hv01 so this is you can see the Veeam console. So this is my standalone Hyper-V host, Win2K12 HV01. So if I go to Hyper-V Manager, you can see we have VM01 and 02 running on this machine, and then we have a replication replica copy of VM03 and 04, which is running on cluster. And the last we have two node Hyper-V cluster, which is HV cluster on which vm03 and 04 is running so let's verify this server also so I'm going to open the failover cluster manager from there we can see the virtual machines so hv cluster hyphen cluster so we have two virtual machine here 03 and 04 and then we have nodes uh, two node two hyper v two node hyper v cluster hv02 and hv03 so this is our infrastructure which we are going to use in this demo so now I'm going to create a, a plant failover in Veeam and then we are going to perform this so for example we have a scheduled down, downtime for these two virtual machine at certain given time so I'm going to sh shut down these two virtual machine for now and then we can plan the failover so I'm going to shut down so we need to make sure uh, during the failover uh, uh, when we are planning the virtual machines are not available at the given time that's why we are planning to have a planned failover so I have shut down these two virtual machine and now I can go to here on home page and then we have a, a failover plan then I can go here and Microsoft Hyper-V and then I can select like VM01 and VM02 fail over to to HV hyphen cluster so a description I can put here fail over uh, due due to power outage for win 2 k 12 hv 01 so th there are n number of reason why you need to have a, f a plan failover so in my case I'm going uh, I'm going to have a plan power failure for this server so that's why we are going to move this machine uh, on another node so I'm going to click on next and then we have a select option so I'm going to select from replica and I'm going to select these two virtual machine which I am having and then we have a delay option we can set the delay so I'm going to set the delay for 10 seconds 
and then 20 second and then apply and then you can also move one uh, up and down so let's example for example I'm going to uh, power on this machine first then uh, VM2 so it's good and we have set this and now you can click on apply and then we have one failover plan is ready here and you can either start to certain given time or you can start now so what I'm going to do for example this Hyper-V host is powered off now and this is the correct time to move the virtual machine to the another failover plan failover so I'm going to do the plan failover now because my Hyper-V host is down now so I'm going to have this to start and then it's going to you can see status is starting and now it's going to power on these two replica replicated virtual machine on Hyper-V cluster so it's going to wait for 10 seconds before next VM starts so you can see this is started now and now it's going to start the second virtual machine so you can see uh, VM01 replica is powered on now and it's booting and you can see the second virtual machine is also on which we can see from here so both the virtual machines has been powered on and, uh, and uh, due to plan failover to the other host so we can see here the plan over uh, plan failover is completed the state is completed and number of virtual machines too so this is good and now you can see from replication we are running two replica copy from this job and you can see the ready state its machine has been moved from ready state so now just assume the power uh, has been restored for HV01 and we need to get these virtual machine back to the source Hyper-V host so let's wait for this Hyper-V host to come online then we can fail back to the actual machine so we have undo failover and fail back to the production so I'm going to do this just wait for this Hyper-V host so Hyper-V host is now back and we can go and launch the Hyper-V console to see virtual machine status so now you can see both the machine is power off and now what I'm going to do I'm going to do this machine to fail back to production and this is you can see the machine name and the size and the original location so I'm going to do the fail back and fail back to original VM and I'm going to select this quick rollback sync to change block only so this is going to only verify the uh, blocks which was changed and it's going to fail back so it's going to verify VMs and then we have a power on target VM after restore so yes so original location name is this and target location is this and then we have a host so I'm going to run this activity now it's going to restore this fail back started and it's going to power on this virtual machine and power on the Hyper-V host so you can see the status retrieving replica configuration replica video uh, has been registered to this machine and then synchronization has been completed and now it's uh, comparing the disk so this is going to take some time because it's going to compare all the disk data which was changed since last backup uh, last uh, uh, state uh, step of uh, state of the virtual machine so now it's you can see syncing the replication replica disk and it's going to take some time so we need to wait for a few seconds here or a few minutes depending on the how much data has been transferred and uh, like um, how much data has been changed in the virtual machine since the last state so sometime it's uh, completely depend on the data 
size which was changed from last uh, backup also you can see the status of the data transfer here from your network utilization uh, you need to go to the check this network utilization on a Hyper-V host itself so you can see the traffic is not really generating so it must be completed and it's going to just verify the blocks now you can see it's almost taken two minutes to get the VM sync and then it's power offering power of replica VM so now you can see the state of this virtual machine has been powered off now creating failback register point and synchronization uh, synchronizing VM configuration file and then it's doing the final sync for uh, delta uh, hard drive delta sync for hard drive and then it's good and then powering on the VM replication in progress so it's just you can see the machine has been powered on now so it's good and now it's going to move this virtual machine from here so failback completed and if I go and close this you can see it's still processing so now you can see this machine has been uh, failback and I'm going to perform same on this machine so I'm going to fail back to the production on original VM to select this quick rollback and power on the target VM after restore so click on finish and now it's going to do the same process for second virtual machine which is a uh, VM02 underscore replica so we have to wait for a few seconds or few minutes here you can see the comparing the target uh, disk has been started and now it's syncing the drive size drive uh, replica disk so it's going to take some time here so I'm going to pause the recording for uh, around two minutes and then going to resume this video again so you can see the disk sync is completed and power of replica VM is also completed VM replica VM is now powered off and creating failback snapshot and now syncing the delta replica disk that's going to take only few seconds here and then we have a power on replica uh, VM02 so it's going to power on now we can see the virtual machine has been powered on so this is good So now this is completed and you can see uh, we have created a plan failover and then we have recovered to failback and now finally if you want you can go and uh, do the undo failover and then it's going to move these virtual machines to ready state so undo failback is running and all the virtual machine is now available and ready for any further task from replicas so this is all how we can perform a fa plan failover and how we can schedule the plan failover and revert back uh, the failover so thank you for watching and please subscribe me for more videos and if you have any query any question related to this video you can always post me in my given mail IDs. thank you once again bye bye